Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. The decision to maintain a fixed 90 Hz refresh rate for the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus may be driven by technical considerations and market segmentation. While Pro models cater to users who prioritize advanced display features, standard models offer a balance of performance and affordability. Apple's strategy ensures that each iPhone variant meets specific consumer needs and preferences for display performance. Maintaining distinct refresh rate specifications across iPhone 16 models reinforces Apple's product differentiation strategy. By offering varying display capabilities, Apple targets diverse consumer segments and market preferences. This approach highlights Apple's commitment to providing tailored solutions that align with user expectations for performance, innovation, and affordability. Choosing the iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Plus means opting for a device with specific display capabilities distinct from the Pro models. These devices are expected to maintain a fixed 90 Hz refresh rate, which provides smooth scrolling and decent graphics performance but lacks the adaptive refresh rate found in Pro models for enhanced fluidity. One notable absence in the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus is the lack of always-on display support. This feature, Available on Pro models, enables glanceable information without unlocking the device, enhancing convenience and efficiency. Without always on display, these models go into sleep mode shortly after screen timeout, limiting the use of features like standby that turns the phone into a smart display during horizontal charging. The choice between iPhone 16 models hinges on user priorities. While the fixed 90 Hz refresh rate ensures adequate performance for everyday tasks, including multimedia consumption and casual gaming, the absence of adaptive refresh rates and always-on display may influence users who prioritize advanced display features. Understanding these distinctions helps users align their preferences with the intended usage scenarios and desired functionalities. Apple's decision to differentiate display features across iPhone 16 variants reflects strategic market positioning. By offering varying capabilities, Apple caters to diverse consumer preferences and budget considerations. Pro models target users seeking premium features, while standard models provide a balanced mix of performance and affordability, ensuring broad market appeal and consumer satisfaction. iPhones equipped with 60 Hz screens currently utilize low-temperature polycrystalline silicon LTPS, panels. These panels provide standard refresh rates suitable for everyday tasks and multimedia consumption. To support faster refresh rates like promotion, iPhones would need to adopt low-temperature polycrystalline oxide LTPO, panels. LTPO technology enables adaptive refresh rates, enhancing smoothness and efficiency by dynamically adjusting refresh rates based on content. The transition to LTPO panels for iPhones supporting faster refresh rates, such as promotion, is anticipated around 2025 with the iPhone 17. This technological advancement aims to deliver superior display performance while optimizing battery efficiency, aligning with Apple's commitment to innovation and user experience. The adoption of LTPO panels in future iPhones signifies a significant enhancement in display technology. It promises smoother scrolling, more responsive interactions, and improved visual quality particularly for gaming and multimedia applications. Users can expect enhanced battery life due to the efficiency of LTPO technology, further enhancing overall device usability and longevity. Based on Apple's recent iPhone releases, it's expected that the iPhone 16 series will mirror the lineup introduced with the iPhone 15. This includes the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max catering to varying consumer preferences and feature requirements. Apple has a history of altering its iPhone lineup to reflect evolving market trends and consumer demands. Past examples include replacing iPhone mini models with iPhone Plus models in response to user preferences for larger screens and enhanced functionality. Rumors occasionally suggest the introduction of an iPhone Ultra model, potentially featuring additional premium features or specifications. However, there's no concrete indication from Apple regarding the inclusion of such a model in the iPhone 16 lineup. While Apple typically maintains consistency in its model lineup, there's always potential for unexpected changes or innovations. 
Consumer anticipation for new features and enhancements remains high, driving speculation about potential surprises in the iPhone 16 series. Reports from reliable sources, including Ross Young from Display Supply Chain Consultants, suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro models could feature larger displays compared to previous generations. This speculation aligns with ongoing trends towards larger screens in flagship smartphones. A potential increase in display size for the iPhone 16 Pro models would offer users more screen real estate for enhanced productivity, multimedia consumption, and immersive gaming experiences. Larger displays can also improve readability and usability, catering to diverse user preferences and usage scenarios. Ross Young, known for accurate predictions in the display industry, adds credibility to reports of larger iPhone 16 Pro displays. Collaborative insights from multiple sources, including Apple Insider and Tom's Guide, reinforce expectations for significant display upgrades in Apple's upcoming flagship models. As consumers await the iPhone 16 series, heightened anticipation surrounds potential enhancements in display technology and overall device performance. Apple's strategic adoption of larger displays in the Pro models reflects ongoing efforts to innovate and meet evolving consumer demands for premium smartphone experiences. According to reports, the iPhone 16 Pro is anticipated to feature a larger 6.3-inch display, up from the 6.1-inch screen of its predecessor, the iPhone 15 Pro. This enhancement aims to offer users more screen real estate for improved productivity and immersive content consumption experiences. Likewise, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is projected to boast a larger 6.9-inch display, compared to the 6.7-inch screen on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This increase in screen size promises enhanced usability and visual clarity, catering to users' preferences for larger displays in flagship smartphone models. In contrast, the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are expected to maintain Apple's current display sizes of 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches, respectively. This continuity in sizing ensures familiarity and meets diverse consumer needs for compact and larger screen options within the iPhone lineup. Apple's decision to upgrade display sizes in the Pro models while retaining consistency in the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus reflects strategic alignment with market trends and consumer preferences. The anticipated enhancements aim to reinforce Apple's commitment to innovation and user-centric design in its flagship smartphones. Reports indicate that the base, non-Pro, iPhone 16 models are unlikely to receive high refresh rate promotion displays, a feature typically reserved for Pro models. Apple has historically differentiated its iPhone lineup by offering promotion exclusively on its higher-end models to enhance user experience with smoother scrolling and responsive interactions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.